Welcome 32BJ members to this Zoom basic training for students who will be participating in our webinar classes at the Training Fund. My name is Joe Rowland. I work in the Curriculum Department at the Training Fund in Manhattan and I will be taking you through this brief tutorial. And we will show you how to join all class sessions from one invitation. So let's say you're taking Fire Safety Director. You will get one invitation with a link and that link will work for every session of that fire safety director class. You will not be getting a separate invitation for individual classes. If you're taking two classes like standpipe and sprinkler and fire safety director you'll get two separate invitations and each one of those will work for every session of the individual class. We'll tell you how to open, download, and run Zoom and we will show you how to join with computer audio or allow you to call in. The preference is computer audio. We'll tell you how to test your mic and speakers. We'll go over some best practices. We'll show you how to use the chat feature and how to raise your hand. We'll also show you how to use the phone app and take a look at what that looks like. So your class sessions will be set up at specific times and you'll receive one invitation to all of those sessions. And it will look something like this. So you'll see all the different dates, the times are the same, uh, 1 p.m. And it'll be the same day of the week. Every session will be listed and the one link here will work for every one of those sessions. You also want to take note of the meeting ID and password. There may come a time where it will ask you to enter either one of those things. The link should work on its own, but just in case, know where you can find the ID and password. And keep track of that initial invitation because you'll need it to join each new session of your class. So this is what you will find after you click that link. If you have Zoom on your desktop already or laptop, You'll see this open zoom up here and you'll click on that. Uh, if not, you'll see at the bottom you can click here or download and run zoom and either one of those things will get you to your meeting. So joining with computer audio or calling in, um, this screen will come up. You'll see the have the option for a phone call or computer audio. The default here is join with computer audio and that's because that's what works best for the classroom. The problem is if you join with a phone call then there will be two screens in the live webinar one for the phone call and one for your video and it can get things a little bit confusing. If it's absolutely necessary you can do that but we much prefer you join with computer audio. And to do that if you have them you want to use your headphones. Any headphones with a mic will work. Simple uh, phone earbuds with a mic are fine and again they just make for a smoother experience in the webinar class. Some best practices to think about find a quiet spot, use your headset, be early so you can test your speakers and etc. Use mute when not speaking so as soon as you join the meeting you should mute yourself and allow your instructor to get things moving with the class. Turn off other phones and things that go beep. Uh, no side conversations because that can get distracting obviously for the instructor. And then just follow all of the instructions on the meeting invitation. So testing your mic and speakers when you join uh, the meeting, if you hover your mouse down at the bottom of your screen, you'll see this black bar open up. You see that microphone down in the left corner here. And if you click on that up arrow, this screen comes up and you can select your microphone and speaker here and then once you do you can test your speaker and microphone here and when you do that you'll be taken to a screen um, that allows you to run a simple diagnostic test. Uh, another thing we want to look at is the chat feature and if you look down here the chat button here you click on that and a chat screen opens up and you can communicate with uh, everyone in the class or specific people and we'll take a look at that when we uh, look at a live webinar in the second part of this training. 
And then you can also raise your hand if your instructor allows it during the lecture or a, a pause in the lecture if you have a question. You have, can actually raise your hand using the Zoom app if you come over here to the uh, participants on the left hand side here. If you click on that, this window opens up and it will list everyone. You can only control yourself. You can mute yourself here. You can raise your hand and when you click raise your hand you see this little blue hand appears and uh, your instructor will see that and know that you have a question. And the phone app is a very simple interface. You'll see the controls down at the bottom there with the microphone icon, the video, uh, the participants, and that's where you can find the the chat and raise your hand features. Also those three dots will get you to the chat and raise your hand features. So we're going to put it together and join a class and my instructor is going to send me an invitation. I'll join the class and we'll take a look and see what it looks like on a desktop, a laptop computer, and also what it looks like on the phone app.